Okay, so a few people have asked me to try uh, Minecraft on the Pi 4 running with 3 gig of RAM. It's running 3 gig of RAM because 3 gig is all that's supported, even though this is an 8 gig Pi 4 that I'm using it on. Um, but uh, obviously as time goes on, we might get more RAM and get better performance. So this is the Java version of Minecraft, and Amir gave me some tips. Uh, I've got Optifine on there. Uh, he gave me some plugins to try, all sorts of things. Uh, but he also said not to do survival because I tried survival and the performance was pretty bad. Uh, so he said create world. I thought he said test world. I can't see a test world there. Hardcore, creative. Let's just do creative. More world options. I did say super flat. Structures, prob uh, structures probably off. Cheats burn his chest. Uh, I guess we'll try that. Can't see test mode on there though. Let's just create that and see what happens. I did get though better performance from the Windows 10 Store version, and my theory is possibly that that version is optimized for ARM processors. Now, I don't quite know how it works with the whole Windows 10 on ARM. Uh, because it, it works in emulation and it emulates Windows and 32-bit Windows programs. But uh, I don't know how much difference that work, that makes. Oh, we're in. And it says you can install 64-bit Java, but I can't because it only works with the 32-bit programs. Oh yeah, it's still proper slow. Yeah, awful. No sound either. Can't seem to place blocks. I'm sure it's, it should be right click, shouldn't it? Anyway, oh, there's we've got some animals here, that. But yeah, pretty awful. Oh, I see. I can drag it smaller. Okay, well that worked. Half Life worked in a smaller window. <laughs> oh, well, that's yeah, that's better. Still pretty terrible though. It's just crashed. I think it's crashed. Oh, not quite crashed. Right, okay. Anyway, let's quit out of that and do the Windows Store one, uh, which I've also installed. Because you get this from having the Java version. You get the Windows Store version anyway. Um, there was some sort of, you had to log in on, on a particular site ages ago. Okay, so you may notice the desktop has changed. And this is because this is Amir's latest build of uh, Windows 10. And what he does is he strips loads of things out. Uh, it didn't even come with Edge installed, but I put that on there. Um, but it's a very minimal install of Windows 10. And you can see there's a Raspberry logo there. Um, but uh, and, it, and it works very, very well, especially if you're gonna use this for web browsing and, uh, and like office type tasks then this works really well and it uses very, very few resources, which is excellent. So you can see the CPU usage is low. You can see I'm on the three gig uh, version. I'm not overclocked at the moment. Uh, now, if I go for the Windows 10 version, which I've installed on this, and it's kind of, it's touch and go. It, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but actually the performance is pretty decent uh, com considering everything, uh, considering what, what it's doing and so on. Um, it's it's really quite playable. So I'm using Bluetooth audio, uh, and so I've put my speaker quite near to my microphone so we can get some game sound. But what often happens is this will load up, and it will go red, and then it will quit out. But then other times it will just let you in. Right, so that quit out. So you just keep trying. And then it lets you in. Sometimes it just it just does let you in like this. Right, so let's get into it as quick as possible just in case it fails. Uh, so I did a, yeah, creative world. And I did one, I did the flat world as well. And uh, I've turned pretty much everything down as much as I could. Proceed. And I've got, I'm gonna try and use a controller for this because I, I've, I've had an issue with the mouse where I was pressing the button and it was, uh, going back to Windows, I don't know why. Is the controller working? Yeah, the controller's working. Yeah, so have a look at this. It's all right. It, it's actually, I mean, I know there's no objects or anything in there, but it's hard to complain about that. 
Y is inventory, or well, it's not. X is inventory. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I think that could be a lot worse. Maybe, uh, let's just do this for a little bit more because I don't know how long it's gonna work uh, where, where it won't be crashing. But uh, yeah, maybe we have a look at something with a, a bit of an environment to it and see how that works. But actually this is better than I had on, so the other version of Windows I was using was the full version of Windows uh, and it had all the apps and everything on it. And have I still got blocks? Yeah, I've still got blocks. Look. Oh, wrong button. See the view, see all the things that are around here. Look. There we go. Oh, you can see the curve. Oh, the earth's curved, is it? Crikey, look at that. <laughs> Uh, so I think I might. I think that shows it with, you know, a bit of, uh, you know, the frame rate looks okay, and uh, you know, fairly usable. Uh, so if I press escape and save and quit, let's let's try a uh, survival world. So create a new world. I don't know what all that is. This looks nicer, doesn't it? Survival, difficulty, normal, world type. I guess old, is that gonna be better for for performance? Friendly fire, fire spreads. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So create. But at least I've got it to work now. I, on the So on the other build, I did have it working. I put a little video up on the Discord uh, and then I couldn't get it working again, so I had to delay this video. But uh, now it's working on Amir's build, and actually working quite reasonable. We'll see what happens when we put all the blocks in. Uh, so this will be a you know proper survival world. So this might not be the same. So let's look around. I think I've put the draw distance pretty. Oh, you can see all the all the fish and everything in there. There's quite a lot, and interesting because of the draw distance, you, you could see them when you wouldn't normally be able to see them. Oh. So let's spin around. So I'm spinning around as fast as possible now, so you can see, yeah, it is, it's pretty choppy. Well, this is a weird world, isn't it? How, do I have to swim across all, all the way over there, do I? And maybe there's more you can do to make it more playable. That's going to be my own let. Oh, what's that there? A plant. And I think there it looks like a cave or something down there. No, it wasn't a cave. Obviously, I can create a cave. Now, there are better ways possibly of playing Minecraft on the party. That's sped up then. Just go for the mouse look around to see what. Yeah, it <laughs> loses some frames there if you go fast. I was going to try and drag this smaller, but I can't seem to. Do I have to press escape? Does that give me. Oh, yeah, now we're talking that. So, can I move that down? Resume game. Right, I'll move a bit closer to the monitor. Ah, so now, yeah, it's a bit smoother, I would say. And there's obviously an awful lot in that world. You know, you can you can see you can see reasonably far. Now there might be some more tweaks. Oh, it seems to have sped up now. That seems that seems really quite decent. Yeah. Oh, is that the end of the world? Is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's because it's the old style, I guess. So let's. Oh, 
There you go. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.